I think we can all agree that traffic sucks. So today we're going to be answering all questions related to commuting in Gig Harbor. Today we're at Narrows Park in Gig Harbor, Washington. And being that 50% of Gig Harbor's population is in the workforce, we have five big metropolitan areas that we do commute to. Uh, number one being the biggest in Seattle. We've got Bellevue, Olympia, Tacoma, and then we are surrounded by some military bases, so JBLM and Bremerton Naval Base. And being that we're located on the Puget Sound, there are a lot of options of transport. There are ferries and fast ferries, of course, buses, and then numerous styles of trains as well. Starting with the highest density of commuters, we're gonna talk about Gig Harbor to Seattle. With no traffic, Seattle's about a 45 minute drive. If you add traffic to the mix, it can range anywhere from about an hour to even to it sometimes. Another Gig Harbor to Seattle option if you want to get out of the car is the Sounder. So it's just a quick 20 minute drive over the Tacoma Narrows Bridge to Tacoma where you can hop on, there's free parking, and then it's another 40 minute ride on the Sounder up to Seattle. Then there's the ferry options and there are a few choices here. It's about a 20 minute drive to Southworth and that's the fast ferry, it's 26 minute crossing. So no cars, bikes are allowed and that gets you into the Stadium Pioneer Square area or for car ferries, drive to Bremerton. It's about a 40 minute crossing and that gets you into downtown. And then you can just sit back and relax, enjoy the Wi-Fi, and get some work done on the drive. The second largest draw for our commuters would be Bellevue, where companies like Microsoft and Amazon and T-Mobile are based. Similar options for commuting to Bellevue. Uh, there's either the Sounder, there's also the City Transit, City Buses but uh, can't really take a ferry to Bellevue. No if you're a true adventurous and you own a boat <laughs> and you've got a day, day and a half, you can go through the Ballard Locks. And if you're going by car, it's about 45 minutes if traffic's good. If the traffic's backed up, you could be looking at about an hour to an hour 20. Moving south to our state capital, Olympia, Gig Harbor has a lot of state workers and politicians making that commute. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's about a 45 minute drive um, and it is a reverse commute, so you're not hitting typically that heavy traffic either direction. Mm -hmm. Gig Harbor is also surrounded by military bases. We have the Bremerton Naval Base and then we also have Joint Base Lewis McCord. So there are people commuting to both of those. Uh, Bremerton is about a 20 to 40 minute drive depending on traffic. And then uh, Joint Base Lewis McCord is Air Force and Army. And that is about a 35 minute commute from Gig Harbor. Often called JBLM. There you go. Of course, we can't forget about Tacoma, our sister city. And as you can see, we are standing in front of the Tacoma Narrows bridges. The one that replaced Galloping Gertie is the one farthest away. So that one's been around a long time. And then more recently in 2007, the additional uh, eastbound bridge opened up. These 2,800 foot spans make it the fifth longest suspension bridge in the United States. Pretty cool. And a big draw for commuters on the Tacoma side, there's a large area of trauma, high trauma hospitals. So we have a lot of doctors and physicians that live in Gig Harbor and do commute over because there are sections of Gig Harbor that are in the on-call radius for docks over in the hospitals in Tacoma. Yeah, and the 2007 <clears throat> bridge truly made a lot of places in Gig Harbor closer to places in Tacoma mm -hmm. than other spots of Tacoma. Yeah. So um, yeah, getting from Tacoma to Gig Harbor has really become a seamless transaction. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge is a toll bridge, uh, but we do have good to go, a good to go pass. And that also gets you into carpool lanes and has access on some of the other roads throughout Washington state. And good to mention that it's only on the eastbound. You don't pay coming back into the harbor. Just yeah. one way toll. Yeah. There's also the versatile Orca Pass, which is uh, usable for a variety of uh, transit systems in the area. Exciting to add in our Gig Harbor community is the Runner, it's called. It's like a micro transit. It's just within our city limits. And we hear it's like an Uber, but with the cost of a bus fare. So more information to come on that, but very exciting. We're gonna put a link in our description that'll take you to more information for all these passes. Yeah, that concludes and wraps up commuting in Gig Harbor. So please subscribe to our channel. Yes. One take. <laughs> Boom. Is that all you're saying? <laughs> oh shit. Uh... Get oh God, I'm fixing my hair. Now, cut, moving.
Cut two. <laughs> Cut Olympia. Got it. Okay. Hello. Okay. Um, Got it. Get it good. <sighs> I'm really into what you're saying, though. Yeah. Okay. My neck is strong.